and welcome to the Bronx Journal. I'm your guest host, Trent Love. Dance Parade is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to promote dance as an expressive and unifying art form through performance showcases and education. Here in the studio today are two very special guests, Greg Miller, founder, executive director, and Brian Austin, creative director of New York City's Dance Parade. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, hey, for, thanks having for having us. us. Absolutely, thanks for coming. So why don't you tell us, for those that might not know, what is Dance Parade? Dance Parade is uh, an amazing event. It's the world's largest uh, event that celebrates and showcases the diversity of dance. And when and where is this Dance Parade? It's Saturday, May 21st. We're going to start off on Broadway and 21st Street. We're going to head down Broadway all the way down to 8th Avenue. And then we're going to cut across through St. Mark's all the way into Tom, what was it, Tompkins Square Park. Okay. We're going to have a post-parade festival. That sounds wonderful. But uh, how did this all begin? Why don't you tell us, Greg? <laughs> it started about five years ago. Actually, 2007 was the first parade. Um, mm -hmm. As a result of a political movement, um, there was a, a court case about uh, the cabaret license law. And uh, that's a New York City code that says that only uh, four people can be move rhythmically before it gets licensed. And uh, I was a part of a group that um, was raising awareness about that. And um, the judge said that uh, dance is not an expressive form of art. So oh, dance we, is not. Yeah, can you believe that? <laughs> oh, <So okay>. funny. <laughs> music, film, literature is all protected under the state constitution as expressive, but, but not dance. So we went out and we showed through 70 styles of dance down Broadway that mm. it is expressive. So it became an art uh, event after that. A beautiful wow. art event. With 70 styles of dance, I, I can't even imagine all the uh, specific styles and colors and culture. It just sounds like a great opportunity. So uh, why don't you tell us about what makes Dance Parade so special? Because we, we know a lot about a lot of parades happening. Um, there's Puerto Rican Day Parade, Almost there's definitely. West Indian Day Parade. Mm -hmm. Why is Dance Parade unique and special? I'll tell you. Dance Parade. Imagine you have music. You have the ability to move your feet, groove around. There's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people <laughs> in their own groove, in their own style, able to express themselves. That's Dance Parade. You know what? I think I'm down with that. <laughs> I already feel like dancing. Yeah, man, it's a great time. <laughs> How many people uh, come out to this, though? Like tens of thousands, like tens so many thousands. people, man. It's, it's like the streets are filled, all the spectators are watching, and all the participants, oh man, like a lot of people. It's been up to, I think, 7,000 last year of you wow. know, forms coming out from the entire spectrum of dance. From the beginning of time, we have the Africans lead out the parade, mm -hmm. then the Asians, the Latin yeah. groups, all kinds of Latin different, groups. yeah, cumbia, wow. salsa, tango. Salsa, salsa's huge here in the Bronx. It, it, yeah. <laughs> the salsa definitely is, is a huge, and uh, hip hop as well. Yeah, and both those yeah. genres actually kind of started around here in this neighborhood. Um, That's right. We had DJ Cool Herc uh, a few years back, be our Grand Marshal. West Indian. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And salsa kind of was a mix of, you know, the mambo beats from Cuba yeah. and the Puerto Rican ones. So, so with, with the opportunity, I guess, with so many people attending this event and salsa is so big, what if, uh, like the Puerto Rican day, that someone parade, w someone went to get a float? How do you go about getting a float for a large group? Because I know there's a lot of people in there that might be listening and watching, especially with sure. salsa. Yeah, just go to the website, www.danceparade.org. <laughs> Yeah, and it, we made it really easy because we realized dance is kind of a hard thing to, to show on yeah. a moving stage. Mm -hmm. Our performers kind of need, need a float to kind of be up there with the audio, and so we made it easy for them and just kind of take care of all the decorating and all that for them. They just have to show up at 10 o'clock on parade day and jump on. Just jump great. on and get onto that groove, man. Definitely. Oh, sounds wonderful. What, why don't you tell us about some maybe uh, notable people as far as that have uh, uh, participated in the past or some of the ones that may participate this year even? We've had uh, quite a few uh, professional dance companies, the Martha, Martha, Graham, Martha Graham Contemporary Dance Center, Dan Dance New Amsterdam, Joffrey Ballet, so these kind of you know, uh, accomplished groups, but right. uh, also a large number of emerging groups too. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really for, for anybody who wants to be out there 
um, and, and join in. You know, they, they're actually coming from all five boroughs and Chicago, New Jersey, and even further than that. So our, our dance parade's hands are reaching out. You know, we're going to take over the whole world eventually. So <laughs> it's a beautiful place. Well, dance is everywhere. It's in the street. It's oh, a part yeah. of our culture, and mm -hmm. uh, it's here to stay. It's not going anywhere. So thank goodness for what you do. So um, one last quick question before we go to break. Why don't you tell us about how Dance Parade engages everybody through using social media? Ah, social media. Well, you guys can simply go on to www.danceparade.org and you can find our Facebook and Twitter page where you guys can follow us. You can use our YouTube page. We have a Dance Parade page where dance connoisseurs and fans alike can upload their own dance videos themselves. And you can check into Foursquare. Foursquare. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about how that works, Foursquare? So basically how Foursquare works is this. Um, I'm going to be at the Dance Parade Festival. I simply take out my phone or go on my computer and I could type in, I am at Dance Parade NYC. And you're there. This will inform your friends, your family members, colleagues that you're here in this hot spot and this is the happening place to be. And when you do that on Foursquare, we're a moving target so you could sign in from anywhere and it'll still count. That's great. So you could be dancing anywhere, and mm -hmm. you're a part of Dance Parade. Right. Is that just one location, or this is everywhere? It's everywhere. So that's okay. the cool thing about social media. It connects everybody, and that's, that's what we're, we're trying connected. to do at the parade, really just celebrate what we have in common. Exactly. And everybody can move and feel good, and uh, some do okay. it artistically, and others kind of just jump up and down. Okay. There's something for everybody. Well, that's an art form, too. Come on now. <laughs> well, jump around. Jump around. Hey, there's a song after that. Well, 